Hi, we're going to start a new project. This is going to be jungle animals, and we're going to do them as ink tessellations, okay? So I gave all of you guys some square paper like this. It's 12 by 12, and you all got some kind of animal, so I chose the rhino, okay? And I want you to draw it large on your paper and centered so it looks nice. Um, and just draw the outline of it, okay? So you're going to use your pencil. You're going to draw light until you get it right. I kind of want you to plan it out. So I want my head to be kind of over here. I want his backside to be over here, okay? I want the bottom of him to be kind of in here in general and the top here. So I've kind of planned out my lines where I want him to go so he has a margin all the way around, and then I want you to draw him. And I'm going to draw mine, and I do not expect you to get this right the first time. If you do, you're amazing, and it probably won't happen. Okay, I want you to draw it. If it's not right, erase it. Draw it again, erase it. Then I want you to sh show it to somebody sitting next to you. And if they can't easily tell what animal it is, then I want you to draw it again. It needs to be very recognizable what animal it is. Um, by your drawing okay so work on this really hard get the outside drawing right otherwise the rest of the project won't look good if we can't tell what animal it is okay work really hard on that draw light so you can erase and keep fixing so i'm going to spend some time drawing mine and then i'll come back but recognize it's going to look like i drew this in two seconds i did not i took my time and did it right okay okay so i got this drawn and next you can see all my lines aren't quite perfect and so I really want all these edges to be nice. So I'm going to come in with a black pen, just like the one I gave you. And I'm going to go around all the edges. And then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. Okay. So I have a drawing of a rhinoceros. I took it and traced it in my black pen. And then I took it and erased all the pencil lines on it. So I have a very clean edged item. And then I want to do... I want to do is divide it into kind of shapes so like where I know this leg comes behind and this one comes in front I want to put those spots in there okay so I put this line right here in and I put this line right here in okay then I kind of want to decide okay well I think I want the horns to kind of be their own shape like this and I want the ear to kind of feel like it's its own shape like that and this to be like that so you can't see what I've done so I'll show you like I divided those into their own shape I don't know if I want an eye I'm not quite sure where it would go so I'm gonna guess I think I'm just not going to do one because I don't know where it would go. So I'm going to kind of make the tail be its own shape like that. Okay. And then I'm going to divide different sections up. So I'm going to kind of go like this. I'm going to go like this. Make this look like shapes should. It kind of makes sense. Okay, so I did this to the front leg. All right, very abstract kind of shapes. So, I'll kind of do something like that. But the shapes, even though they're kind of abstract, the shapes kind of follow the curves of the rhinoceros. So I did like that. I'm going to do something like this. Okay, for the front of his neck. Okay. And I'm going to kind of maybe make something kind of feel snout like there. Like that. And like that. So there are all my shapes. Okay. Now, I'm going to do tessellations in those. So, let's look up online here real quick. 
um, some pictures. So I was going to show you some pictures, but I can't do it on this video. So we're going to pause here. I'm going to end this video and then we're going to start a new one where I can show you some pictures of tessellations. Okay. I'll see you in a minute.